give it a good good advert for the sport, you know. As much as I'm talking about me, it's not all about me, is it? It's about the sport and the younger players and sharing that. And I think it did. I mean, I'm, I'm fake. Turn it up a little bit. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta blab. Yo. I just took care of my fam. Hey, thought this was always the plan. Today I'm gonna tell you about a sport that I consider more than a sport. I consider it a way of life and like a second family. So roll the clip. What is up ladies and gentlemen, today we have a new guest on the show, his name is Bruce, but he's also known as Batman. <laughs> Batman, is he Batman? Let me line up in a good way guys, line up like this, then you can see me and Batman. Well, Batman, Batman. Ah! Got <laughs> <laughs> there he is, in all his glory. One of the, the more original um, Batmans. He's missing an arm though, look. His left arm. Well, his right arm is missing. His, but I'm talking about how a back, basically. Back with a bang. So let's get into the video. Um, with the help of Batman. Ah, uh, yeah, he doesn't speak. It's the sport just keeps on giving, in my case. And for anyone who's, who's played it or watched it, you know exactly what I mean. How in, it never gets old. I mean, anyone who plays a sport for a long time will know that. Um, you know, when you're new to it, you're still learning. But when you when you get to a higher level, like, and you've been playing for a while, you see younger players coming through, um, like like you see here, and you get inspired. And it makes them want to play more, get better, and you can always get better. And as a fan, a family member, watching the sport, you you become part of it, part of the the family as well, part of the team. Everyday stuff, uh, this sport, it, it, it helps. For anyone watching it or anything, it helps you forget about the, the monotony and all the boring stuff and just have a bit of fun of course you want to win all the time and but that team spirit never dies you know it's always the team it's not just like one player against everyone else that is is the thing that's always there and it's like a family because of that and you've got to be willing to give all on the pitch for your teammates and we do on many occasions and this video is just to to help to remind me and remind you or tell you about the sport it's reminding me why I play um, and I haven't played for a while been ill I'm back to it though now if you've seen the vlogs for a while you'll know that they're a big part of my life you know you may remember the documentary a while back that was made all about Pouchet football and why I do it but it was a documentary from the the point of view of me, because of a friend of mine and his classmates from uni, uh, George, shout out to George, um, they made a, a documentary, they had to make a documentary about a person of interest, and I was chosen, so thank you. Uh, I'm still very grateful, it's 
had a lot of success on the channel. Documentary itself, I'm going to show today to help me and to help you know what the sport is about. But in my case, it's to remind me and get me back on track. You know, I want to show it again as a reminder. So roll the clip. Batman. I don't know if we need something more funny. Something just completely random. Yeah, but no legs, no problem is more comical than what we do. Ah, that's fine, fuck it. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine, fuck it. There you go. There's your answer. <laughs> I'm Johnny Cruisi and I play power chair football. If I would describe power chair football, I would say it's passionate, it's as aggressive as any sport, uh, but the, the teamwork comes first. And well, you, it's, like, it's like going into battle, really. What got me into Pajio football, I would say, just wanting to be competitive in a sport because I was so used to going to school and not being able to participate in like PE classes. So this was a way to be part of something. My favorite part has got to be probably the social side, uh, but just you get to meet a lot of new people, travel around the country, around the world even. So it's just, it's an amazing uh, sport to be part of. It's a, family, it's a family atmosphere, part of a team, you know, part of a squad. It helps you increase your value as a person on and off the pitch. You learn, when you lose a game, you learn. When you win, you learn as well. Disability is Duchenne muscular dystrophy, but um, in my way of life, I don't see it as a as a disability. Like they call it a life-limiting disease, but I don't feel limited in any way. And the long term is just the long term implications of the disease is probably it's, it's around like the muscles, like that doesn't allow them to develop in the first place, so it's made to deteriorate. So physically, it affects you. I feel good as I am, like I feel healthy, so you just have to take, take each day as it comes, don't think about the, the science of it really. So I'm, I'm Massimo, I'm Gianluca's brother. As a big brother, he's, he's very big brother-like, as in he'll tell me what to do and think he's right all the time. Because I am. Well, maybe. 90% of the time, you're right. It is a pain sometimes, but it is what I know, and it's all I've known. So to me, it's, it's just it's normal. It's every day, isn't it? It's, it's the same for me. Exactly. It's what, it's what we know. <laughs> oh, nice. There's someone that's been able-bodied all their life. Suddenly, they lose the ability to, to walk. It's going to affect them really badly because it'll be something new to them completely. Exactly. exactly. But it's for weird. me, I've grown up with it. Like, I could walk until the age of 11, and then after that, but at that age, I seem to take it really well, I don't know. I and mean, since I was, then... I was six, seven years old. So for time. him... And I don't remember anything before, before the age of yeah. 12, really, so for me it's always been what it is. So it's normal, really. Make sure it's tight. What we mm. do is we make the best of each situation we're in. And we have a laugh. Have a time. laugh and have Comedy. a good time. Comedy and we go way. out and we have a better time than most people would and in some ways we probably have a better life than most people. In my family I've got my own people I look up to as well and I think it's good to have people to look up to. It gives you something to work to in some ways but you have to remember to be your own person. <laughs> Second weekend at Nationals this season. We won all four games this weekend, we have four games. And just now I scored a hat-trick. So, over the moon really, to be honest. Um, it's just good to play as a team. 
played well as a team. Everyone played well this weekend. Free parking is a really good advantage. <laughs> that man agrees. He says he agrees that that video is amazing. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it as much as Batman did. Enjoyed it. Um, I think there might be a part two coming, or an extended version or something. Or, but I definitely wanted to share it with you guys on this channel again to remind you if you haven't already seen it that is uh, you may have already seen it so in that case watch this anyway i mean i want to thank all my parachute football teammates like i said the sport keeps on giving and you get a family with it as well. But, you know, I want to remind my, all my teammates, thank them again, because without you, who would I be scoring against? Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> I mean, here you see one of my Facebook posts on my team's uh, like Facebook group, um, talking about how much I'm enjoying my football and praising my teammates because that was a great weekend that was that was I think back in November you know Roma beating Barcelona I saw that and that inspired me a lot things like that when the, the underdog does it you know success stories in foot, football or any other sport but yeah that is it I want to thank you for letting me tell you about my second family and the legends that are my teammates and the family of Parachute Football that is all for today. Keep it real. Don't forget to watch my latest video coming out after this one. Um, go back and watch some of the older videos. Subscribe, like, share, comment. And most of all, have a lovely day. Take it easy, and I'll see you on the next vid. Peace. Batman, goodbye.